Today on Rat and Cat, the top survival stories from October 2020. Welcome to Rat and Cat Search and Survival. It's time to look at the top survival stories from this last October. The first story is one I think most of us have heard about. In Utah's Slate Canyon, Kyle Burgess was out for a 10 mile hike when he thought he saw four bobcats off the side of the trail. He wanted to take a video and move closer. That's when the mom appeared and he realized that they were cougars. She bluff charged him for about six minutes. Burgess made himself look as big as possible as he retreated. The cougar finally let up and disappeared. Burgess waited about 30 minutes before continuing back down the trail. There were no further encounters. In Zion National Park, another big survival story that made the news. 38-year-old Holly Cordier was on what she called a journey of fasting when she took a shuttle to the grotto at Zion and then disappeared. It was odd because Cordier was an experienced and equipped hiker. Search and rescue teams looked for her for about 12 days without luck. Then a boy and his mother spotted a hammock not more than a half mile from the grotto picnic area. Rescue workers found her alive near the Virgin River, quite close to the road. Because of the close proximity, Sergeant Daryl Cashin from Washington County Sheriff's Search and Rescue said the circumstances were suspicious. Cordier's daughter said the woman hit her head on a tree while setting up her hammock and became disoriented. I'll address this incident more at the end of this video when we talk about what we can learn from these stories. But moving on for now. Near LaSalle Lake in North Minnesota, 67-year-old Philip Thorson was walking in the woods with his dog and a friend when he became ill two miles out from their truck. They built a fire and the man's friend walked out for help. But when he returned, Thorson and his dog were gone. After a 16-hour ground and air search, searchers found Thorson's tracks and followed them to Thorson. He was under a log huddled with his dog to keep warm. It appears Thorson had tried to continue on his own, but became disoriented and at one point fell into the Mississippi River. He was treated for minor injuries and frostbite. Also in Minnesota, on some private land just west of Northfield, a hunter had an unusual accident. Michael Phipps and his wife Erin were moving some deer stands when Michael saw what he thought was a great place for his stand. He strapped his stand to a tree and was clearing branches away when the branch he was on broke. Michael fell 14 feet to the ground. The fall knocked him unconscious. His wife went back to their truck and called 911. Phipps suffered multiple broken ribs, one of which punctured a lung. Fortunately, he's recovering without complications. And in Bryce Canyon National Park, Utah, a man went missing for three days. 62-year-old Mark Langenbach set out for a hike in the Bryce Canyon area when he took a wrong turn and became lost. Wearing only pants, shoes, and a t-shirt, he was not equipped properly for the freezing night temperatures. In an interview with Utah's 12 News, Langenbach said that in the freezing temperatures and with no water, he became increasingly disoriented and started hallucinating. Still, he remained calm and kept warm by keeping his back against a boulder and rocking his body back and forth to keep warm through the nights. He was finally spotted from a helicopter by a Utah state trooper just before ending their search on the third day. What can we learn from these stories? We need to be in peak performance when we're in the wilderness. Many people found the story of Holly Cordier disappearing in such close proximity to civilization in Zion mysterious and suspicious. But to me, the incident seems quite straightforward and typical. You can survive about two minutes without air, two days without water, and about two weeks without food. Cordier was fasting when she started her trip, so her senses were already impaired. She didn't have any water, so she could have started hallucinating within the first 24 hours, just as 62-year-old Mark Langenbach did around the same time frame when he became lost in Bryce Canyon. Add to that that she may be struggling with some mild mental health issues, and you've got a problem. I have yet to find statistics linking wilderness disappearances to mental health issues, but in my personal research, it seems clear that mental health issues are the number one cause of deaths, accidents, and disappearances in the wilderness. If you're suffering from a mental illness, avoid going into the wilderness alone, or at all. What survival stood out to you recently? Have you ever hallucinated in the wilderness for lack of food or water? I look forward to reading your stories in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Nakia and this is Rat and Cat Search and Survival. Get out there, be safe, and enjoy the wild.